Kilobod Microcomputing was a magazine dedicated to the computer homebrew hobbyists from 1977 to 1983. How Kilobod started Wayne Green, the editor and publisher of Kilobod, had been the publisher of Byte magazine, another influential microcomputer magazine of the time, where he published the first four issues in his own office. But one day in November 1975 Wayne came to work, and found that his ex-wife and the rest of the Byte magazine staff had moved out of his office and had taken the January issue with them. Consequently, the January 1976 issue had Virginia Green listed as publisher instead of Wayne Green. Wayne was not happy with this development, so he left Byte to start a new magazine to compete with the fledging Byte. He wanted to call it, Kilobyte, to trump Byte. But the people of Byte quickly trademarked Kilobyte as a cartoon series in Byte magazine. So he named the new magazine, Kilobod, instead. The magazine was first published in 1977. Topic: Many name changes. The full title for the first magazines was Kilobod, the Computer Hobbyist Magazine, January 1977. These issues are unique for having a full index of the contents on the front cover but no illustrations, photographs. Later issues did have illustrations but also still had a full index on the cover, a feature that remained for many years. The title was now shortened to only read, Kilobod Microcomputing. From the beginning of 1979 to the end of 1980 the subtitle, For Business, Education, Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 fun, was added. Later, after 1981, the Kilobod denominated was dropped altogether and the magazine was now simply called Microcomputing, with the subtitle, A Wayne Green Publication. In 1984, the magazine folded. After the success of Kilobod, Wayne Green diversified with magazines targeted to specific brands of home computers, such as 80 Microcomputing, also known as 80 Micro, a magazine for TRS-80 users, Insider, a magazine for Apple II users, Hot Cocoa, a magazine for TRS-80 color computers, Run, a magazine for Commodore 64 users, and many others. Topic. Intended readers Even more than Byte magazine, Kilobod contained articles written for people who were building their own 8-bit microcomputers at home, or were writing homebrew software for these systems. Kilobod, much more than Byte, contained articles written for electronic engineers or hobbyists interested in electronics, rather than for people who were technically interested in computers but not in building their own computer from scratch. Articles like, Two Hobbies, Model Railroading and Computing, and the article written by the famous Don Lancaster, Building a Cheap Video Display for Your Heath Kit H8, a computer you could build yourself from a kit, are good examples. In the May 1982 issue an article about building the Sinclair ZX81 kit, the first, and probably last, mainstream, do-it-yourself, computer kit was published. After that the magazine more and more lost its hobby background and it looked like any other computer magazine. Topic. See also ABC-80 Performance Test